I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, the Editor-in-Chief of Catholic Online, here to speak about Mardi Gras. That period of time right before Ash Wednesday and the 40 days of Lent. What is it and where did it come from? Mardi Gras goes back to Europe. And remember, Europe had deep Christian roots and the church was woven into European culture. And people used to celebrate right before Ash Wednesday because they knew that for 40 days we would enter into this period of fasting and abstinence to get ourselves ready for Holy Week, the Passion of the Lord, and the great celebration of Easter. And in particular, in France, Mardi Gras has its roots. And as the French began to colonize and came here, so too Mardi Gras as a celebration took root, particularly in New Orleans, but throughout the South. Even the particular aspects of the Mardi Gras, such as the use of masks, can be traced back to Christian roots. There were deep divisions according to class in Europe, and the mask made it possible for people to celebrate Mardi Gras together, irregardless of caste or class. Now remember, Christianity proclaims that we are brought together and there are no divisions among us in Jesus Christ. Similarly, the use of torches and fire have religious symbolism. But unfortunately, Mardi Gras, especially as we have moved away as a culture from God, has also become known to be associated with immorality and debauchery. And as Christians, we cannot participate in that. But can we celebrate Mardi Gras? Of course we can. Enjoy it, have fun. If there's a parade, march in the parade, but do so with dignity because you are a Christian. Enjoy good food, and yes, a few glasses of wine. The psalmist tells us that wine was created to make men and women's hearts merry. So if you're so inclined, there's nothing immoral about it. Remember what we're doing. We're having fun. And having fun and being a Christian are not at odds with one another. One of the things we can do as Christians in a West that has all but forgotten God is to re-Christianize it. You see, it's been a part of the Christian approach to culture from the very beginning, that when we are finding ourselves in a culture and among a people that have forgotten God, we don't wag the finger. We help them to find Him again. And we look within that culture for the seeds of goodness. And then we baptize and celebrate even their holidays by giving them new Christian meaning. So let's re-Christianize Mardi Gras. Have fun. Enjoy your family and friends. And remember, the next day after Fat Tuesday is Ash Wednesday. May God bless you and your family in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.